Mechanical concrete preparation. Profiling with a grinder. What you need. Floor grinder. Broom or shop vac. Hand grinder. Eye protection. And a disposable respirator. No matter how new or clean the concrete is, it will need a rough textured surface similar to 100 grit sandpaper in order to achieve maximum epoxy adhesion. A good rule of thumb is, the rougher the concrete, the better adhesion. Grinding the surface with a floor grinder, scarifier, or shot blaster is the preferred method for profiling your floor. Though acid etching is the easiest, it can sometimes take multiple applications to sufficiently etch the concrete. You then have to allow it to dry before applying any coatings. Professionals use a floor grinder with diamond plates to roughen up the concrete because you don't have to let the concrete dry out to proceed to your next step. You can rent a grinder from a local rental store. This also roughens the concrete much more effectively. Using the grinder will open up the pores of the concrete to allow the epoxy to sink in, therefore achieving maximum adhesion. To profile the areas the floor grinder can't reach, such as around the baseboards or edges of your concrete, we suggest using a hand grinder. Please make sure you use eye protection during this process. After grinding your floor, sweep or vacuum the dust and loose debris away. This will ensure that your coating will have a nice and clean surface to adhere to. After you have finished, you are now ready to apply your first coat of epoxy. Also, if you're coating concrete that has been sealed with a sealer, it is necessary to use a floor grinder to prepare the concrete. You can't use a chemical profiler to remove a sealer. Please watch our sealer test video to check if your concrete has been sealed.